people ask me, you know, to present to them like a specific skill set or they want to know what techniques I use to get the results that I get with my wonderful horses. Um, and there's actually not really a defined skill set or strategy or, or system. Um, all I'm ever doing with a horse is just looking at them, observing them and kind of loving them and um, but loving them in a way that is how they want to be loved. So I think when when we think of love, we think of like what it feels for us to love something and, and that feeling. But um, sometimes, well, most times love should be more defined as what you can do for, not what it feels for us, but what you can do and, and how you can actively love something. And sometimes it doesn't doesn't match up with the feeling that we have. So to actively love a horse is to be with a horse in a way that really honours what they need in that moment, and not so much what what we need from from that interaction. So um, that can be a very challenging thing to <laughs> um, explain to people, especially on a stage where um, you know in the horse world it's very like male dominated and. Um, a lot of my peers are, are men who have very, um, it's just the way men work, they have very pragmatic approaches to things. That's very, um, they create systems and yeah, they have these very kind of clear frameworks to work through and then um, I'm kind of, you know, working in the same areas and, and we have the same clients and I don't really offer that, you know, do A to arrive at B. Um, yeah, it's more of a just, like be with your horse try and see the world through through their eyes and understand how would they best like to learn this skill not how would you best like to teach it but how would they best like to learn it and um 